What is going on, you two black bigelow, male gigolo, sweltering in the oppressive heat, humidity here in the greatest state in the nation, Dallas, Texas. I want to share a story with you really quickly. Uh, this little boy, Amari Nicholson, has been missing uh, out of Las Vegas. Uh, it has been the better part of the week now. Well, come to find out yesterday, we just found out that the little boy was found dead. Uh, Terrell Rhodes, I believe, that's the name of the boyfriend of the mother uh he was charged with that little boy with his murder i want to show you a picture of the mother check this out it is taylor nicholson bad genetics ugly tattooed loser tattoo neck that's pretty bad now the story goes as follows they finally arrested the boyfriend Terrell Rhodes and he confessed that the little boy wet his pants a couple times and he got angry and he punched the boy the little two-year-old boy with a closed fist just punched him he said supposedly three or four times and he stopped breathing turned blue he started CPR couldn't do anything he took his little body and he just dumped it on the other side of the wall of where they live. Now, I used to live in Las Vegas, so I know exactly where they live. They live in an extended stay apartment. Basically, they're weeklies. They're for people that don't have any credit and cannot afford to get a legitimate apartment. A lot of pimps, a lot of prostitutes, a lot of drug dealers live there. And then you'll get like some retirees who just, you know, they want, they just want the, the, uh, uh, ease of just going to a place where you pay by the week and then they leave and, and you got a lot of just scumbags uh going in and out of those places and uh this story is disgusting uh it's really tragic and really sick uh what could that little that little baby what could he do to anybody in the in the world for them to ball up their fist and and punch him and kill him you know i i, I see this all the time i see this all the time I read stories about this kind of crap all the time. Uh, a little message out there to the ladies. Now, I know some of you guys are fucked in the head. Uh, your brains are scrambled eggs. Your brains are warped. Uh, a lot of you are just not all the way there in the brain. And you like these kinds of guys. You like these kinds of assholes. This guy has been to prison in Nevada at least once. Uh, he is a wannabe pimp. I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming that she was the prostitute. He was the pimp. Is this a pimp and hoe situation right here? He, again, is not the father of this baby. Where is the father of the baby? Who knows? There was another dude talking on the news. He was the ex-boyfriend of this broad. And, again, he was also not the father. They broke up last year he seemed very very upset about this that child never ever had a chance in life that two-year-old will never grow up to have a job a car kids of his own he won't get a chance to do anything uh, the reason why is because his mom is a fucking tattooed neck scumbag that is it uh first sign of a scumbag uh you get a scumbag tattoo on your neck now i'm not saying that Everybody that has a tattoo on their neck is a scumbag. Of course not. But what I am saying is a lot of scumbags do have tattoos on their neck. I mean, you see, a, and especially a, a, a woman. I'm looking at this broad. She's only 22 years old. Already has a tattoo on your neck. When, when you're 22 years old, in particular, a woman, and you get a tattoo on your neck, you're already telling the world, fuck you. You're already setting an example of who you're going to be as a person and when you set that example you're also setting that example for that little baby that doesn't know anything doesn't know what danger is doesn't know if something's hot or cold i mean they're clueless to the fact that's why you got to teach these babies when they're young that way they grow up and they know right from wrong good from bad donald trump from black lives matter so forth and so on you know what i'm talking about but this skank, this devilish skank, and in my opinion, she should be right in jail with that motherfucker. And 
so far the police do not suspect her of having anything to do with that little boy's murder supposedly she was out of town and this is what happens ladies this is what happens when you date piece of shit thugs that don't do shit don't have a job don't do nothing ain't worth nothing ain't worth shit and you all continuously fuck with these losing motherfucking thugs straight scumbags that's that's a damn shame that's a damn shame i'm about to go do a video sometime next week more thug shit down in south dallas uh thug killed his girlfriend and uh the girlfriend's mother on on uh, instagram live or what have you so i don't know uh keep dating these losers keep dating these weirdos and you know it, it doesn't matter at the end of the day she's continuously going to date these fucking scumbag sons of bitches because she's already a scumbag now so once you're on that train track of being a complete and utter fucking scumbag you're never ever gonna get off anyways guys i gotta get to the gym i gotta go work out i will catch up with you later peace out